So this is the galley setup on Gira Gira. I've got my Trangia stove, which is sitting on top of the uh, upturned aft hatch. A uh, little gas bottle tucked in the cup holder there. Uh, and then in the aft uh, locker, I've got my box that contains all my cooking gear, plus a few light items of food and uh, the rum locker. My bunk setup is a swag rolled out on a raised platform with my feet up under the foredeck. And then I've got this little canvas cuddy that I fold up at night. It just keeps the breeze off. And um, then I've got this sun awning which goes over the whole cockpit, uh, keeps any rain out. Okay, it's day six of the trip, day three out of the reef. We just got sailing. It's a little beam reach. Another six miles across to Hoskin. A bit of current around here at the moment. Lots of birds and things. It's coming out beautiful. So we need to get there in reasonable time so we can get in over the reef. Coming up to Hoskin. Been a lovely little sail. Okay, so we're at Hoskin. We're just looking at a spot to enter into the lagoon. There's a few waves breaking along here, so we've just got to find an opening. Probably a little bit further along here, near where John is. We should just be able to duck around the end of those breakers there. at the moment. Okay, I think I've got to go for it. Oh, and it's locked up. Huh? Might end up surfing one yet. Yeah?
Here's another big turtle. Going to go up here and have a look, see where the best anchorage is. Here is a big shark swimming along. Let's see if you can see it. Look at him. Seawood K. Uh, a lot more coral around here though, so I don't know if we're going to stay here. We might head back to the other spot. Back down near that one. There's a lot more sand. Looks pretty untouched up this one. anywhere down on this side of the island that is worth anchoring in. We're just coming back down somewhere to anchor, it's probably the best spot it seems. So I don't know if you can see up in the background about probably 100 metres up the beach is a pair of mating turtles. So we won't go any nearer to them. They haven't moved for about the last hour. So it must be a slow process. So yeah, we've got a good little posse. Um, it's high tide, so we'll probably have to move out a bit, but just out here, there's enough water to sit at low tide. So that's where we'll go later on. Anyway, that's where we are. Another nice, beautiful posse. Okay, it's our last night out on the reef. We just moved out off the beach to allow for the tide. And uh, we're going to head back tomorrow because we've got a following breeze tomorrow and then Thursday's looking like it might be a bit iffy. So we're just having a little drink and then some dinner and have an early one. Thank you. 
It's quarter to six on our last morning out of the reef. Uh, we're going to head in today. It's beautiful and calm. Wednesday, fourth day out on the reef. We're now just heading back in as there's a bit of a weather change coming. Need to be some rain later. Um, so we've had three good nights out here. And yes, heading back to 1770 to try and get back in before dark. So we're just heading out. It's a couple of hours before high tide, but we're managing to slip out of here okay. It's pretty flat, there's no waves out here where we're heading. Okay, lunchtime update on the way back in. Um, we had to motor sail till from 7.30 to lunchtime to try and get in before this weather that's coming. Anyway, we've got about probably eight miles to go now. The wind's just picked up enough for us to sail, so we've got a nice little reach in. Should get us in the next hour or two. A couple of hours probably. Okay, it's just after two o'clock. Um, we've managed to sail for the last couple of hours, the last 10 miles. And we're just about to come around into 1770. Hopefully beat this dirty weather, which is supposed to rain quite a bit.